Hey, welcome back to Real Food Vlog. This segment is going to be about doing our risotto. We usually do a basic uh, asparagus and mushroom risotto, but you can do any type of risotto. We've done everything from um, shrimp risotto to lobster risotto to salmon risotto. You can do pretty much anything, but right now we have about uh, seven to ten button mushrooms or brown mushrooms have been quartered. They're at the bottom of this stock pot that we started with some butter and some olive oil, okay? Some salt and pepper to bring out the flavors in these mushrooms. Okay, we're going to brown up these mushrooms because we want to have a lot of flavor to the risotto, okay? And then I'm going to show you what else we're working with here. But we have about two cups of the arborio rice, which is the risotto, okay? We have about uh, four cups of chicken stock that are on the stove that is simmering on high. You want to have that on high, and I'll tell you that in a second, to tell you why in a second. And we have about a half a pound of asparagus that's been uh, parboiled and then cooled off in a water bath and then uh, diced up. We reserve the top stems, okay, for the very end as well. We get about four to six cloves of garlic. You just use the taste. Okay, I like a lot of garlic, we like a lot of garlic, so we use a lot of garlic. And we have about um, two or three shallots that have been um, finely minced up. You could substitute this with uh, doing like a half of a red onion, a yellow onion, or um, a white onion. And then we have about two Roma, t uh, Roma tomatoes that have been di uh, seeded and diced. And we have about seven to ten leaves of basil. A little bit of dry thyme, and we'll tell you what we're going to do with this. We have a little bit of white wine, about a quarter of a cup, okay? And we have about two cups of either Parmesan Reggiano or um, Pecorino Romano cheese, okay? So, the mushrooms have browned up in here, so we're going to take the mushrooms out, okay, of here. Or we, at this point, we can actually add the shallots, okay? So add the shallots in there. Now, I, I would take the mushrooms out if we weren't going to complete this dish. But since we're going to complete it, we're just going to add those shallots in here to the mushrooms. We saute them up. They smell delicious already, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to add in our garlic. Okay? As much as you'd like to taste. We're going to reserve the tomatoes for the end, okay? And the basil for the end. We're going to add the uh, asparagus here in a second, but we're going to add a little bit of dried thyme, probably about uh, a teaspoon of dried thyme. Okay, so now that that, uh, this risotto continues to absorb, right, the, the chicken stock, right, and the wine that we put in there to deglaze it, we just continue to add it in and continue to let this process work itself out until the, the risotto is done. And we'll show you that process right here next on Real Food Blog. 